when we think about concepts in our everyday life, we know that some concepts can be more general than others. For example, the concept of mammals is more general than the concept of dogs, because every dog is a mammal. So, dog is a subconcept of mammal, and mammal is a superconcept of dog. Let's see how we can transfer this to formal concepts. So, assume that we have two formal concepts, A1, B1, and A2, B2. So we have A1 and B1 and A2, B2, and they are two formal concepts. of the same formal context. Let's say G, M, I. We say that A1, B1 is a subconcept of A2, B2. if A1 is a subset of A2. And that's a natural definition. So if A1, B1 is uh, the concept of dogs and A2, B2 is the concept of mammals, then by saying that the first is, the, is a subconcept of the second, what we mean is that all dogs are mammals. Every dog is a mammal, all dogs are mammals. All dogs form a subset of all mammals. And uh, we use the following notation to denote that A1, B1 is a subconcept of A2, B2. We write A1, B1 is less than or equal A2, B2. So we use this sign. So this is a natural definition. But it looks a little bit strange because we completely ignore concept intents. In this definition, we look only at A1, A2, but we ignore B1 and B2. So is there any condition that should be put on these two sets, on the, on the concept intents? Well, let's check. So suppose that we have two formal concepts, A1, B1, A2, B2, and the first one is indeed a subconcept of the second one. Uh, so by definition, we have that A1 is a subset of A2. If so, then let's check B1 and B2. Now, B1 equals A1 prime because A1 and B1 is a formal concept. So by definition of the formal concept, B1 is A1 prime. And A1 prime is uh, the set of all attributes shared by all objects from A1. Similarly, B2 equals A2 prime because A2 B2 is a formal concept. And A2 prime is the set of all attributes shared by all objects from A2. Now, let's look at, at one attribute from this set, from B2. So this attribute is shared by all objects from A2. But the set A1 is a subset of A2. This means that this attribute is also shared by all objects from A1. But then this attribute must also be included in the first set, which is the set of all attributes shared by A1. Or in other words, B1. We have just proved that every attribute from B2 is part of B1, and therefore B2 is a subset of B1. So, if A1 is a subset of A2, then B2 is a subset of B1. Now let's check if the reverse is also true. 
Suppose that uh, B2 is a subset of B1. And let's look at A1 and A2. Well, A1 is B1 prime because uh, a1, B1 is a formal concept, and BY, B, B1 prime is the set of all objects that have all attributes from B1. And similarly, um, A2 equals B2 prime, which is the set of all objects that have all attributes from B2. Now let's look at one object from A1. This object has all attributes from B1. But since B1 is a superset of B2, this object must also have all attributes from B2 and therefore it must be part of this second set of A2. So we've just proved that A1 is a subset of A2. And therefore this relation holds in both uh, directions. If B2 is a subset of B1, then A1 is a subset of A2. And therefore we can reformulate this definition and we can say that A1 B1 is a, a subconcept. of A2, B2 if B2 is a subset of B1. These definitions look different, but they are equivalent to each other. All right, so we've defined some binary relation being a subconcept of on our formal concepts. Let's look at some properties of this relation. Well, the first property is uh, reflexivity. Um, if we take a formal concept AB, then by definition it's less than or equal to or it's a subconcept of itself. AB is a subconcept of AB and indeed this is because A is a subset of A. This property is called reflexivity. The second property is anti-symmetry. If A1 B1 is a subconcept of A2, B2, and at the same time, A2, B2. Is a subconcept of A1, B1. Well, in this case, A1, B1 is just the same as A2, B2. They are equal. It's the same formal concept. Well, why so? Well, because if A1 is a subset of A2 and A2 is a subset of A1, then A1 and A2 are equal. On the other hand, if B2 is a subset of B1 and B1 is a subset of B2, then again B2 and B1 are equal, and therefore A1, B1 equals A2, B2. The third property is transitivity. If A1, B1 is a subconcept of A2, B2, which is a subconcept of A3, B3. In this case, A1, 
B1 must be a subconcept of A3, B3. Well, indeed, if A1 is a subset of A2, which is a subset of A3, then A1 is a subset of A3. A3. Um, now, every binary relation that satisfies these three properties, reflexivity, antisymmetry, and transitivity, is called a partial order. And so, we've just proved that formal concepts are partially ordered with respect to this relation, the relation of being a subconcept.